All right, now we're going to sum up all our work that we just did, and we're going to put it into a times table, and here we go. So we had 1 times 1. And then we have 1 times 2, 1 times 3, 1 times 4, and we can do the same way going down. We have 3 times 1, 4 times 1, as opposed to 1 times 4. And that was our 1's table that uh, we, we did first. Let me go ahead and give this a different color, so we, we distinguish the two. And then, if you recall, we started working on our twos table. And when we did our twos, we had uh, all our numbers were even. And then we moved on to our threes. Now, in our threes, if you remember, the the digits would add up to uh, a number that was a multiple of 3. So if we took 21 and we added 2 plus 1, we have 3, which is a multiple of of our number. And then we are back to 4. And if we remember, when we did 4s, we noticed that 4s kind of looked like 2s. And that was every other step from the 2s we would uh, then have the next number in our four sequence. So 20 and 24. We moved on to sixes, which had the properties of two and three, which meant that the number was both even, and also if we added the two numbers, we would get a number that was a multiple of three. For instance, five plus four gives you nine, which is a multiple of three. We then moved on to sevens, and there was no real trick for sevens. You, you just kind of have to memorize what the values are going to be. When we look at eights, we know that the numbers are going to be even. And that's the only trick that we have for them. When we look at nines, if you recall, if we added the two digits together, we would get 9. So 4 plus 5 is 9, 6 plus 3 is 9, uh, 1 plus 8 is 9, and that's how we could tell whether we had the right number in our 9's place. We moved on to 10's, and our trick with 10's was it would simply be multiplying by like 1, except now we're adding a 0. So if we did 10 times 9, we would just add a 0 to it, making it 90. When we moved on to 11s, we had the same uh, kind of an identity uh, thing, where when we multiplied like 11 times 2, we would get 2 2. So if we multiplied it by 4, we would get 2 4s. If we multiplied it by 6, we got 2 6s. And now the last one, I really didn't go much into, it was 12, it has the property of 2 and 3, you can add up all the numbers, and it will be divisible by 3, 1, 2, and 0 is 3, uh, 1, 0, and 8 is 9, and those are both multiples of 3, and because it's a factor of 2, every number is going to be even. Now, the last thing to look at when we do our times table is the diagonal numbers. 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 4 times 4, 6 times 6, a number times itself. This is commonly called 
the square of a number when we square a number. So if we had said 10 squared, we're talking about 100. If we said 11 squared, we're talking about 121. And that's the end for our times table. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned. I hope you do great. Talk to you later. Bye.